Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm glad to be with you again today. And I want to say happy new month. The ninth month of the year, the month of September. You see, for every woman, the ninth month is a very significant month. It's a very, very, very important month. That's the month that a woman puts to bath or puts to bed a conception of months. God has so designed it that a woman carries a pregnancy for nine months and it delivers at that time. Anything before or anything after is very strange. It's, it's, it's not acceptable. Anything before is the death of that child. Anything after is all, can also mean the death of that child or the death of the mother. Now I take you to a scripture, Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 8. Listen to this. Who has had such a thing? Who has seen such things. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? But as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Now shall I bring to birth and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Or shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, saith the Lord? There are two important things here. The Bible says it's a strange thing for somebody to think, oh, you conceive today and you give birth today. It's not done. Have you ever seen such a thing? It's not done. But you see, there is a time that the baby grows in the womb and there is a time of traveling. Traveling. Women call it labor. The Bible says, as soon as Zion traveled, she brought forth. What, what does travel mean? Travel means a painful and laborious effort an exertion of both physical and mental and um, emotional. You know, the three goes together when a woman is trying to bring forth. So here, the Bible says that as soon as Zion, when we're talking about Zion, we're talking about you and I, as soon as she traveled, she brought, she brought forth. What does that mean? There is always the need to travel, to bring to birth anything in our lives. And if you think it will come without it, you'll be joking, you'll be deceiving yourself. I mean, just like I said, a woman will know that hey, you have to fall into labor before you bring forth. If you, in fact, doctors will augment your labor if you are not laboring. If you are not, if there's no labor, if you are just there, you have gotten to the ninth month and there's no labor, they will augment your labor because you need to travel to bring forth. Now, God has kept us from the first to the ninth month. This is the ninth month. This is the month of delivery. This is the month of recovery. This is the month to see what you have been nursing, what you have been incubating, what has been growing in you, you know, since inception. So I want you to take this month very, very seriously. Let it be a month that we put a physical and a mental, emotional, spiritual exertion on that thing that you've been thinking about. And then the joy is this. It says, as soon as she traveled, she brought forth. So, as soon as you begin to travel, as soon as you begin to put in your effort, I can assure you there's going to be a delivery. Hallelujah. Listen, I have prayed for you, and I know that if you will walk with the, with the law of nature, which is the law of God, and you will take this ninth month as a serious month, a month where you will put in everything that is possible into that thing, I can assure you, you will bring forth in the mighty name of Jesus. So much has happened since the beginning of the year till now, but the ninth month, don't joke with it. And I want to encourage everyone watching me today, gather yourself together, put in a little more effort, push, just push a little bit, push, just like you'll be told to push them, just push, push, push and you will see the manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. This is both a prophetic word and a word of encouragement to you. And I trust that I will hear your testimony. It doesn't matter what it is. Is it your business? Is it your spiritual life? Is it your children? Is it whatever it is? Just give it a push in this month of September and you will see what the Lord will do for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me pray. Father, I pray for everyone on this platform. 
in this ninth month, the month of delivery, the month of recovery, I ask the Lord for the grace to push, the grace to travel, the grace not to be complacent, the grace not to give up, the grace not to be not, 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 not to be depressed, but to push a little bit. I release that grace upon every man in, in this platform today. The wisdom to know how to even push, I release it upon you today. And as you do, Lord, I ask that in the name of Jesus, according to your infallible word, according to, your, to the process of nature, your daughters will have a delivery. And they will be excited. They will carry the bundle of joy. And your name will be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to email me. I'll be glad to receive your email and I'll be glad to respond to you. I'll be glad to hear your testimony as well because I know your testimony will come in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I'll see you again. Hallelujah.